Hi Swaroos. Hi Swaro. This is Prashanti Swaro. We like to give you good from Nalgonda district. I have four friends with me. Let me introduce my friends. Hi Swaroos. Myself Kaveri Swaro. Hi Swaroos. Myself Kirti Swaro. Hi Swaroos. This is Rajni Swaro. Hi Swaroos. This is Preeti Swaro. Swaroos. Today we are going to discuss in a new teaching method. Are you ready for the discussion? Yes, friend. And also this session is going to be like an entertainment. Which is nothing but the combination of education and entertainment. Wow, it's a nice. Friends, are you ready for the entertainment? Yes, friend. Yesterday I gave you the pre-reading materials. Have you gone through it? Yes, friend. We have gone through it. Okay, Swaros. Let's start our class with a quotation. The best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today. Awesome. Friends, let's see on the slide. What do you observe in that? Can I, friends? Sure. The family of ducks walking in a straight line in front of the sea. Friend, here is a large group of people are standing in a line for something. Exactly. The people are standing in the water with a straight line. And friend, different color shiny bits are arranged in a straight line one by one. And Swero, the trees are in straight line with copy space. Sure, friend. Friends, can can you give some more real life examples? Can I, friend? Sure. In our school assembly, we stand in a straight line, of friend. Yeah. Wow, it's a good example to understand much better. Yes, friend. We observe more straight lines while people are standing in a queue, like in airports, railways, banks, etc. Absolutely. Friends, have you ever seen the moving rocket in the sky? Yes, yes friend. friend. The rocket also moving in a straight line. Yes, yes. yes. Friends, in our daily life, we maintain queue system in the dining hall, which is straight line. Yes. Wow, Prajni, you said good answer. Friends, the friends can I. What we are going to discuss today? Maybe, Maybe straight, straight line. line. Exactly. See, Swaros, straight line is an important topic of coordinate geometry. Various competitive exams like IIT, JE, will bear several questions from this topic. Students planning to take such an elite exams must try to cover all possible topics in IIT, JE, mathematics in order to remain competitive in IIT and JE. Friends, there are other kinds of lines that are helpful to learn. There are parallel lines. perpendicular lines and intersecting lines friends let's see on the slide what do you observe can i friend sure the first picture shows parallel lines in the fields according to mathematics wow friend what a mathematics what a relation between mathematics and fields na no? it's, it's too, too great. great friends can you give some more examples on it friends the pa- the beautiful flowers are planted in a parallel lines Friends, do you know what are parallel lines? Yes, friend. Parallel lines are the two or more lines that are always same distance apart and never touch. Slope between any two parallel lines is zero, and the piano keys are the perfect example of parallel lines. Friend, I would like to say a joke. There are many parallel lines in common, but the same thing is they will never meet. <laughs> wow, friend, what a wonderful joke, na? What, what a, a joke, joke, what a joke. joke. Friend, I would like to say perpendicular lines. Sure. If two lines intersect at right angle, then it is known as perpendicular lines. The slopes of perpendicular lines are inverse reciprocals of each other. Friends, I got found out what is meant by reciprocal. Sure, reciprocal is nothing but the flipping of numerator and denominator. Can you give, can you say the intersecting lines? Friends, the last but not least one is intersecting lines. Intersecting lines are two lines that share exactly one point. This shared point is known as point of intersection. Friends, can you give some examples for intersecting lines? Yes, Vero. Scissors and the letter X are examples for intersecting lines. Yes, friend. As we see on the slide, another example for intersecting lines is hangs of the clock. In a clock, hangs are intersected at one point, that is, intersecting point. Sure, friend. Friends, can I ever use heard the word gradient? Yes, yes friend. friend. Can you explain it? Friend, we want to express it with a song. Shall we sing that? Exactly. Look at that Cartesian plane isn't it just so beautiful x on the horizontal y up and down the vertical now there's this thing called slope there are two ways that it's expressed it's the rise over and is the change in y over the change in x slope measures the steepness of a line and higher slope means the steep incline And the reverse is also true. A low slope makes the line flatter too. See, there's this thing called slope. There are two ways that it's expressed. It's the rise over run. It's the change in y over the change in x. Let's see slope y intercept form y equals m x plus b. Oh my, the relationship between x and y. 
depends on the constants m and v. m u c is the value of the slope, so higher m is the steeper line. b is the point to step where the line crosses axis of y. Now there's this thing called slope. There are two ways that it's expressed. It's the rise over run is the change in y over the change in x. Slope is the rise over run. Na 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 na. Slope is the rise over run. Na 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 na. Wow, friends, what a melodious song. Friends, let's have a video on slope. Let's see here, friends. Let's have a video on real life examples. Friends, do you know what is a slope, friends? Slope is the measure of steepness of a line. Friends, you can find the slope by using the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 or simply rise over run. See here, friends, we have four types of slopes. They are positive slope, negative slope, zero or horizontal slope and undefined slope. Have you understand, friends? Yes, friend. Let us have a real life examples on slope. Can I friend? Sure. This is one of the application of positive slope. Positive slope is concluded to be able to walk upward direction. The steps taken on a temple is a perfect example of positive slope. And now it happens slope is horizontal slope which is described as being flavor on it. Friends, already we know that slope of a horizontal line is always zero. To communicate by each is simple is an example for horizontal slope. And see here friends, this is best example for horizontal slope. In this statue, we observe that horizontal slope across the arms. And another one is undefined slope. Undefined slope is the same thing these having the vertical lines. The rock man has an undefined slope as he is climbing in this picture. And another example for undefined slope is Statue of Liberty. This Statue of Liberty also have built the space undefined slope. And the negative slope is concluded to be walking down the coordinate plane. The far side of the pyramid is a perfect example of negative slope. Flow of water from certain height to downward direction is a good example for negative slope. Exactly, Sveru. Sverus, I have four tricks to remember the slope. That Positive slope is shown by the right eyebrow. Negative slope is shown by the left eyebrow. And the undefined slope is shown by the mouth, nose. And the zero or horizontal slope is represented by mouth. Friends, would you like the trick? Yes, friend. Friends, I think you are eagerly waiting to discuss our topic. Yes, yes friend. Okay. Today our topic is finding the equation of a straight line with all possible different conditions. Friends, what is the straight line, friends? Let me explain. The, the line traced by a moving point traveling in a constant direction or a line of zero curvature or the shortest distance between two points is called straight line. Friends, let's see on the slide. This is the straight line. Have you understand, friends? Yes, yes friend. friend. This is the example for straight line. Friends, let us see the general form of a straight line. The general form for the equation of a straight line is ax plus by plus c equals to 0. Where a, b and c are constants. a is not equals to 0 or b is not equals to 0. Have you got my points, Sveros? Yes, yes friend. friend. The locus of a linear equation in x and y. The linear equation ax plus by plus c equals to 0 represents a vertical line if b equals to 0 or a non-vertical line with the slope minus a over b if b is not equals to 0. Have you got my points, Vera? Yes, Vera. Yes, Let us discuss the various forms of a straight line. Friends, now discuss the derivations of the equation of a straight line in various standard forms. Friends, we have more methods to find the equation of a straight line. Among them, two points form. Let us see on the slide, friends, that two points form, points form, origin slope form, slope intercept form, intercept form, normal form and the last one is symmetric form. Friends, let us discuss the first form of a straight line. What is the first form of a straight line, friends? Two point slope form of a straight line. Absolutely, Svero. Let us consider a x1, y1, b x2, y2. 
let C x y be any point on the line which is collinear with A and B. Thus, we can say that the slope of the line A B equals to slope of the line A C. Friends, have you ever heard the word collinear? Yes, friend. Can you explain it? Two or more points lie on the same line is known as collinear. Exactly, Spheros. See here, this is the line. These are two or three points located on a line. This is the example for collinear. Have you got my point? Yes, yes friend. And also, I think you are all familiar with the formula of slope. What is it, Swaros? S friend, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Exactly. Or y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. Exactly, Swaros. Here, the slope of the line AB is nothing but y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Can you guess the slope of the line AC? S friend, y1 minus y1 minus y1 equals to x minus x1. Exactly, Swaros. Here, the slope of the line AB is nothing but y2 minus y1 over x2 x2 minus x1. Let's see on the slide friends. By solving this equation, we get y minus y1 equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 times of x minus x1. What is the required equation for us? y minus y1 equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 times of x minus x1. Yes, for us, you are too intelligent. This is the required equation of a straight line in two points form. Shall we move on to the next form, Spheros? Yes, sir. Friend. What is the next form? Point slope form of a straight line. Exactly. Let's see on the slide, friends. If we consider the equation, what we discussed just now. What we discussed just now, Spheros? y minus y1 equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 times of x minus x1. Exactly, Spheros. If we replace y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 by m, then what we get, Swaros? We get y minus y1 equals to m times of x minus x1. Very good, Swaros. What is m here? Here m is slope. Exactly. So, here the required equation is y minus y1 equals to m times of x minus x1. This is the required equation of a straight line in point slope form. Are you understand, Swaros? Yes, friend. Shall we move on to the next form? Yes, friend. Are you sure? I'm sure, friend. Okay, let's see on the slide. The next form is slope intercept form. If we consider the equation, what we discussed just now. What we discussed, friends? Y minus Y1 equals to M times of X minus X1. Absolutely, sir. If, this, we, if we assume that this line passing to the points 0C and Y axis, then if we replace X1, Y1 by this 0C, what we get, sir? Y minus C equals to MX. Absolutely. Then here, minus C will become plus C. Then what we get? Y equals to MX plus C. X, friend, very good. Then, here what is the required equation, friends? Y equals to mx plus c. What is m here? Slope. What is the c? Y intercept of the line. As far as you are too intelligent, the required equation is y equals to mx plus c. It is the equation of a straight line in slope intercept form. Are you understand, friends? Yes, yes friend. friend. Shall we move on to the next form? Yes, yes friend. friend. That is origin slope form. Let's see on the slide, friends. The straight line y equals to mx plus c is passing to the origin. If c equals to 0, then the equation of a line, non-vertical straight line, passing through the origin and having slope m equals to y equals to mx plus y equals to mx. Then what is the required equation, friends? Y equals to mx. What is m here? Slope. Was whereas you are too intelligent, na? Here the required equation is y equals to mx. This is the required equation of a straight line, origin slope form. Shall we move on to the next form, friends? Yes, friend. Are you clear? Clarity about this? Yes, friend. Okay. The next form is intercept form. Friends, in this form of equation of a line, will be given with x and y intercepts. So that we can easily get the coordinates of the points of the line on x and y axis respectively. Spheros, if x intercept is a, then what are its coordinates? Yes, friend. If x intercept is a, then the line passing through the points are a and 0. Sure, friend. Similarly, if y intercept is b, then what are its coordinates? Swero, if y intercept b, that means the line passing through the coordinates 0 and b. Exactly. Swero, we have the values of a and b. Then its coordinates are also there. If we consider a x1, y1, b x2, y2, Swero, I think you are all know the formula of slope. What is it? S friend, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Exactly, Swero. By applying this slope formula, we get the slope value that is m equals to minus b over a. By substituting this m value in that point slope formula. What is the point slope formula friends? y minus y1 equals to m times of x minus x1. Absolutely. If we substitute this m value in that point slope formula, we get y minus 0 equals to minus b over a times of x minus b. By substituting 
these values, what we get, Swero? x over a plus y over b equals to 1. Exactly. Here, what are a and b? Intercepts of x and y. Yes, Swero. Here, a and b are intercepts of x and y. This is the required equation of a straight line intercept form. Friends, did you have any doubts? No, no sir. Yes. Shall we move on to the next form? Yes, friend. That is normal form. Friends, let's see on the slide. Friends, this is the length of the normal run from the origin to a point which makes an angle alpha with the positive direction of x axis. Then, if we observe the triangle AOD, in this we have cos alpha equals to adjacent side over hypotenuse. Then, here that is cos alpha equals to P over A. Then what is the value of A friends? P over cos alpha. Exactly. Friends, if we observe the triangle BOD, then we have sin alpha equals to P over B. That is opposite side over hypotenuse na. Then we get sin alpha equals to P over B. Then what is the value of B? P over sin alpha. Exactly. Friends, we have already the values of A and B. From the equation of intercept form of a straight line, we get the equation of a line. What is the intercept form, friends? x over a plus y over b equals to 1. Exactly, Sphero. By substituting this a and b values, what we get? We get x over p over cos alpha plus y over p over sin alpha equals to 1. Absolutely, Sphero. By solving that equation, we get x cos alpha over p plus y sin alpha over p equals to 1. Friends, what is the required equation? x cos alpha plus y sin alpha equals to p, where p is the distance from origin to the point. Did you have any doubts? No, no doubts. Sirus, this is called the normal form of a straight line in which t an angle makes with the positive direction of x axis which perpendicular p draws from the origin. Have you any doubts friends? No. no. Let us move on to the next form that is I think this is the last form of a straight line. Isn't it Sirus? Yes, yes friend. Sphero. That is symmetric form of a straight line. Let us see on the slide Sirus. Suppose the line L passing to the points x and x1, y1 and making an angle alpha with the positive direction of x axis is non vertical. Then the slope of the line m is tan alpha. Friends, how can we write the value of tan alpha? Sin, over al sin, sin alpha over cos alpha. Exactly, Spheris. According to point slope formula, we get the equation of a straight line. What is the value of point slope formula? y minus y1 equals to m times of x minus x1. Absolutely, yes. Spheris. If we substitute this m value in that point slope formula, what we get? We get y minus y1 equals to sin alpha over cos alpha times of x minus x1. Absolutely, Sphero. If we solve that equation, we get x minus x1 over cos alpha equals to y minus y1 over sin alpha. This is the required equation of a straight line in symmetric form. Friends, have you understood? Yes, friend. Any doubts? No, no doubts. doubts. Okay. Are you ready to solve any problem? Yes, friend. Okay. Let me give you the equation that is 3x minus 4y plus y equals to 0. Can you convert this equation into various forms? Yes, friend. We want to con express this equation in various forms. Sure. See here, friends. Here the given equation is 3x minus 4y plus y equals to 0. Now, I want to convert this equation in slope intercept form. Friends, can you say what is formula for slope intercept form? Yes, friend. Y equals to mx plus c. Very good, friend. Formula for slope intercept form is y equals to mx plus c. And if we see the given equation here, minus 4y becomes plus 4y. We get 4y equals to 3x plus 5. And into 4 becomes denominator of the right side. We get y equals to 3 over 4x plus 5 over 4. Friends, this required equation is in the form of y equals to mx plus c. From this, we get m and c values. Friends, can you say what is m value here? 3 over 4. And what is c value? 5 over 4. Very good, friend. Here, m means slope. Friends, now I want to convert this equation in another form. That is, intercept form. Friends, can you say the formula for intercept form? Yes, friend. x over a plus y over b equals to 1. Very good, friend. Here, formula for intercept form is x over a plus y over b equals to 1. And if we see the given equation, that is, 3x minus 4y plus y equals to 0. Here, plus y becomes minus y. We get 3x minus 4y equals to minus y. By solving this equation, we get x over minus y over 3 plus y over minus y over equals to 1. Friends, here the required equation is in the form of x over a plus y over b equals to 1. From this, we get a and b values. 
Friends, what is x intercept here? Minus 5 over 3. And what is y intercept? Minus 5 over 4. Swaras are too intelligent. Oh, Swaru, what an explanation, right? Preeti, can you convert this equation into remaining forms? Yes, friend. Sure. Friend, here the given equation is 3x minus 4y plus 5 equals to 0. Here, already we know that Pond's law formula. What is that? y minus y1 equals to m times of x minus x1. Yes, friend. I want to convert this equation into Pond's law formula. Let us assume x equals to 1. From this equation, we get y equals to 2. Then the required points are 1 and 2. Is taken as the x1 and y1. Friend, already we know the slope value. What is that? 3 over 4. Yes, very nice, friend. Substitute these values in this formula. We get y minus 2 equals to 3 over 4 times of x minus x1. Friend, compare these two equations. What do you observe? The two equations are in same form, friend. Yes, friend, you are the two intelligence. This is in the form of y minus y1 equals to m times of x minus x1. Friend, according to these equations, what is m here? 3 over 4. And now fourth one is normal form. Friend, can you say the formula for normal form? Yes, friend, x cos alpha plus y sin alpha equals to p, where p is the distance from origin to point. Yes, friend, you are the brilliant. And another formula for normal form is plus or minus ax over under root a square plus b square plus or minus by over under root a square plus b square plus or minus c over under root a square plus b square equals to 0. Then the given equation is 3x minus 4y plus 5 equals to 0. Friend, compare this, two e this equation to the general form. Friend, what is general form? ax plus by plus c equals to 0. Yes, very nice friend. Here a equals to 3 and what is b? Minus 4. And c equals to 5. Friend, substitute this abc values in this formula. What we get? Plus or minus 3x over under root 3 square plus minus 4 whole square plus or minus 4y over under root 3 square plus minus 4 whole square plus or minus 5 over under root 3 square plus minus 4 whole square equals to 0. Yes friend, very nice. By solving this equation, we get plus or minus 3x over 5 plus or minus 4y over 5 plus or minus 1 equals to 0. Compare these two equations, what do you observe? The two equations are in same form friend. Yes friend, these two equations are in same form. This above equation also in the form of x cos alpha plus y sin alpha equals to p. Here x cos alpha equals to plus or minus 3 over 5. And what is sin alpha? Plus or minus 4 over 5. And what is p? Plus or minus 1. Yes, very nice friend. Friends, I want to ask a question. Can you say the form, normal form of the line x plus y plus 1 equals to 0? Yes, friend. Can you solve it? First, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Can I friends? Oh, yes. The answer is plus or minus x over under root root 2 plus or minus y over root 2 plus or minus 1 over root 2 equals to 0. Friends, what a brilliant way. Friends, one of the method to find the equation of a straight line is graphical method. Friends, I would like to say graphical method. Sure. Friends, finding the equation of a straight line by using graphical method. Observe this coordinate plane. Horizontal line is x-axis and vertical line is y-axis. My straight line AB is passing through the points 6, 4 and 2, 3 on y-axis. Let us consider AX1, Y1 and BX2, Y2. In this coordinate plane, first we have to find the slope of the line passing through the points AX1, Y1 is 6, 4 and BX2, Y2 is 2, 3. We know that slope is denoted by M that equals to change in Y over change in X. Friends, what is the formula for slope? Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Very good friend. What are the coordinates of A? 6 and 4. What are the coordinates of B? 2 and 3. Very good friend. By substituting these values in the formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, we get 3 minus 4 over 2 minus 6. That equals to minus 1 over minus 4. What we get friend? 1 over 4. Yes. Now the slope of m equals to 1 over 4. We are very familiar with one formula. What is that friends? Point slope formula. Yes friend. That is nothing but point slope formula. Can you say the formula for point slope? Yes, friend, y minus y1 equals to m times of x minus x1. Yes, friend. Friend, what is the y coordinate here? 4. Four. What is the m value? 1 over 4. Yes, by substituting these values in the formula, y minus y1 equals to m times of x minus x1, we get y minus 4 equals to 1 over 4 times of x minus 6. This denominator 4 becomes into 4, then 4y minus 16 equals to x minus 6. By solving this equation, we get x minus 4y plus 10 equals to 0. This is the required equation of straight line by using graphical method. Wow, very nice friend. 
Can anybody use this method in another form? Yes, friend. I want to use this method for two-point form. Sure. Friends, observe this coordinate plane. Here, my AB straight line is passing through the x-axis and y-axis. Here, A coordinates are 3 and 2, B coordinates are 1 and 6. Let us assume 3 and 2 equals to x1, y1, 1 and 6 equals to x2, y2. Friends, you are too familiar with the two-point form now. Can you say that two-point fo slope formula? Yes, Kaveri. Y minus y1 equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 times of x minus x1. Very good, Swero. Am I right, Swero? Yes, Swero, absolutely. By, sol by substituting these values in this formula, we get that y minus 2 is equals to 6 minus 2 over 1 minus 3 times of x minus 3. From this, we get that y minus 2 is equals to 4 over minus 2 times of x minus 3. And what we will get here, friends? Minus 2. I swear, oh, we get that y minus 2 is equals to minus 2 times of x minus 3. By solving this, what we will get here, friends? We get y minus 2 equals to minus 2x plus 6. As friend, the equation is 2x plus y minus 8 equals to 0. This is the required equation, friend. What is the required equation here, friends? 2x plus y minus 8 equals to 0. As well, wow, Swero, what a brilliant explanation. Can you give a big, big round of applause? Yes, Swero. Friend, I would like to present a small witty skit about a line. Sure. Rajni, I want to test your knowledge. Yes, sir, I can do anything to prove myself as a Swero. Okay, listen here. I will draw a line here. You have to make that line smaller without erasing it. Yes, friend, okay. See, friends, I am drawing a line here. What is the answer? What friend, you asked a wonderful question. What is this answer? What is the answer? Friend, I have got an idea. Okay. Hey, Rajni, what you are doing? You are completely foolish, Rajni. One see here, Kaveri. Yeah. You ask me that to make this line small without erasing it. Yeah. I make this line small without erasing it by the another line which is longer than you. That's it. Did I prove myself as a swero? It's a nice idea, Rajini. You proved yourself as a swero. Zing, zing, amazing. Friends, I want to ask a question. Are you ready to solve it? Yes, yes friend. Sir. Okay. Find the equation of a straight line which makes an angle 120 degrees with the positive direction of x axis passing through the points 0 minus 2. Friends, are you ready to solve it? Yes, yes friend. friend. Here, what is the m value? Tan 120 degrees. Friends, according to trigonometric ratios, what is the value of tan 120? Friends, your spheros, don't do late. 10, 9, 8. Yes, Swero, minus root 3. Exactly, spheros, you are too intelligent. You are again and again proving yourself as spheros are too intelligent. Friends, do you know, by using determinant method also, we can find the equation of a straight line. Friend, I would like to say determinant method. Exactly. Equation of the straight line containing x1, y1 and x2, y2 can also be written as modulus of x, y1, x1, y1, 1, x2, y2, 1 equals to 0. Now, the problem is find the equation of straight line passing through the points 1, minus 2 and minus 2, 3. Let us consider 1, minus 2 as x1, y1 and minus 2, 3 as x2, y2. By using this determinant method and substituting these values in the formula, what we get friend? Yes, friend, we get model x of x, y, 1, 1, minus 2, 1, minus 2, 3, 1 equals to 0. Yes, friend, very good. By applying 3 by 3 determinant matrix, and that is x times of cross multiplying these values, y times of cross multiplying these values, 1 times of cross multiplying these values, we get x times of minus 2, minus 3, minus y times of 1 plus 2, plus 1 times of 3 minus 4 equals to 0. By solving this equation, we get minus 5x minus 3y minus 1 equals to 0. By taking minus as common, we get the equation is 5x plus 3y plus 1 equals to 0. Friends, what is the required equation? 5x plus 3y plus 1 equals to 0. Yes, friend, very good. Therefore, this is the required equation of straight line by using determinant method. Friend, I have one trick to find a solution for any problem within seconds. Isn't Who it? Who is it? As far as observe this coordinate plane. Here, this line is pass parallel to the y-axis. This line is parallel to the x-axis. Here, these two lines are meeting at the point 3 and 4 and 3 and 1. By seeing these coordinates, we can say that the equation of this line is x equals to 3. Friends, we know that the slope of any x or vertical line is not defined. So, the, li the slope of this line is also not defined because this line is parallel to the y-axis. Friend, by seeing here, 
by seeing the coordinates we can say that the equation of line is y equals to 4 then what is the slope of this line as far as the slope of this line is zero because this line is parallel to the x axis thank you friend wow friend thank you for introducing such as such a trick to us friends can anybody have any doubts no friend sir. i have one doubt sure how I'm many straight lines can be drawn from a one point see here sero we can draw many lines from this point that is infinite lines can be drawn from a point see here friends it is also said can be concurrent lines See here, friend. We can draw infinite lines from this point. Then it can also say to be concurrent lines. Have you got my point, sir? Yes, yes, friend. friend. Exactly. Friend, I want to ask one riddle. Sure. Are you ready? Yes, yes friend. friend. I have three eyes and all are in straight line. When my right eye is open, everything will freezes. Who am I? I know the answer. I know the answer, friend. I want to say answer, friend. Wait, 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 friend. We all think that is it traffic lights. Yes, friends, you are the two intelligence. Wow. That is traffic lights. Friends, let us do an activity. Friends, our straight line is related to many subjects. Isn't it, friend? Yes. Can you prove that? Yes. I want to do an activity. By that activity, I want to prove. Okay, friend. Take a candle, friends. friends we have used ma our mathematics in many ways friends, that is the power of mathematics na yes friend friends observe this candle flame if we observe this candle flame through a straight tube we can find this flame as straight line as yes, friend here the light of the candle is visible in a straight line to me exactly friends if we bend this straight tube we can't see this line in a straight line as yes, friend yes, it's it's a right if i bend this tube means the light is not visible in a straight line to me friend exactly friends from this activity This shows the light travels in a straight path. <coughs> Have you clarified, friends? Yes, yes friend. friend. Okay. From this, our mathematics is used in many ways in the real world. Friends, can you give some more examples? Friend, can I? Sure. Our straight line is also used in chemistry. How can means? See here, friend. This is the structure of B B H two. This B H two is one of the example of S P hybridization. A linear model is. Is in the connected in a straight line. Here, the bond angle is said to be one eighty degrees. Wow, sir, what is such a wonderful example? Can I, friend? Sure. Many ancient Lord Shiva temples from Kedarnath to Rameshwaram is in the straight line. Yeah. Friends, let's see here. I want to say quotation on straight line. friend here see here many ancient lord shiva temples from kedarnath to rameshwaram on straight line yeah, yeah. Yes. yes friend friends let's see here i want to say quotation on straight line god writes straight on with crooked lines yeah. let's see here friends these are the example for crooked lines crooked means nothing but friends crooked means nothing but that they they are in straight okay nice friends see this globe here vertical straight lines are called longitudes and horizontal lines are called latitudes and these lines are using to di locate different places on the globe is it clear for you friends yes, yes friend friend we are using zigzag lines in designs in our dresses all our dresses like frocks sarees etc wow friend it's too beautiful friends let us play a game let's take the chits
What is there in this state, friend? Let us observe. observe. What is there? It is interesting. Friend, in this I got the question is, what are the parametric equations of a straight line? Can you say the answer sir? Why not friend? x equals to x1 plus r cos theta, y equals to y1 plus r sin theta. Friend, another parametric equation is also there, that is x equals to r cos theta, y equals to r sin theta. These are the equations of a straight line when passing to the origin. Have you clear your friends? Yes, yes friend. Can I friend? Sure. In this, my question is, what is the slope of the line 2x plus 3y plus 5 equals to 0? Here, the given line is in the form of ax plus by plus c equals to 0. And friend, we know that slope of this line is minus a over b. According to that formula, we get minus 2 over 3. Friend, in this trick, I got the question that is, find the equation of horizontal line passing through the points 1 and 2. Friends, we know that the equation of horizontal line passing through the point x1, y1 is y equals to y1. Friends, here the required equation is y equals to 2. What about you, Preeti? Friend, in my sheet, I got the question, one question that is, find the equation of any vertical line passing through the points minus 3, 3. Already we know that the equation of any vertical line passing through the points x1 and y1 is, is that x equal to x1. Here we have vertical line pause, passing through the points minus 3 and 3. Then the given equation is x equals to minus 3. Wow, Swero, what a intelligent. Swero, let's play a game. That is to find the odd one out. Yes, friend. Friends, see here. Here four straight lines are passing through the origin. But this straight line is not passing through the origin. Among this, this is odd one out. Yes. Yes, Swero. Spheros, can you give some more real life examples on straight line? Can I friend? Sure. We are using different straight lines of colors on a wall. Can I friend? Sure. Two three shine show skew lines. The two streets are the perfect example of skew lines. Because these are the two lines, these are not intersects and these are not parallel. Can I friend? Sure. Friends, do you know states? Yes, yes friend. friend. States are real life examples for parallel lines. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Friend, friends, let's see here. When the sun, the earth, the moon lie on the straight line, then the eclipses occur. Friend, Have you got my points, for us? Yes, yes friend. Friend, bicycle will also one of the example for intersecting lines. Yes, 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 friend. Friend, can I? Sure. The parallel lines examples are sides of the piece of paper. See here, friends. These are the parallel lines. Yes, friend. And also, friends, railway trucks are the examples for parallel lines, no? Yes, yes friend. friend. Can I, friend? Sure. Craft is also one of the example for straight line. Yes, exactly. yes, yes, yes. Can I, friend? Sure. We are using straight line in physics also. That is motion in a straight line. Yeah. Exactly. Spheros and also we observe them in flow tiles. Yes, yes friend. Yes. And also the sides of square and right rectangles. No? Yes, friend, friend. This mathematics also used in the physics. A velocity is taken on the horizontal motion and vertical taken on the Vertical motion. Yes, friend. Friends, can anybody? Mm. We observe on the walls also, no? Yes, yes friend. friend. Exactly. Our books. Yes, yeah. Our crafts. Swerus, let's see here. What are you doing, friend? This artery shows also straight line, no? Yes, yes friend. Yes. Isn't it? Yes, yes friend. friend. Okay. Friends, have you cleared about the topic of straight line? Yes, yes friend. friend. Are you sure? Yes, yes sure, sure, friend. Okay, friends. Let's see on the slide. Friends, this is the assignment for you. I want you to do this assignment by tomorrow. Yes, friend. My special yes, thanks to dear dad, R.S. Praveen Kumar, IPS Secretary. And I would like to thank my principal madam, Vanaja madam. And the hard work behind this presentation, she is none other than my Goindama madam. And also the TSAT channel and my friends who are cooperating me a lot. And also my staff teachers. By their encouragement only, I can get this access. Thank you for giving me this golden opportunity. Thank you friends. Have a nice day. Bye, Bye Sarah. Bye, Sarah.